period. Well, Chris, here's a video. How you doing, folks? We're here this evening or this morning in Buckley's in the Stoll. And Buckley's, as you can see, a Mikhail Fusion, Mikhail Fusion 4, the new one, just out. Um, probably not in too many yards at the moment. Um, Buckley's had an open day last night, or yesterday, um, for Mikhail. And um, I was here and I got the fantastic opportunity to speak to, I think it was Mike Roach was his name, I'm not sure his second name, but it was definitely Mike, and thank you Mike, and he spoke to me about um, the McHales and the history of McHales and all this. Now, the place was absolutely packed, so we couldn't do the interview here at the Baylor, we done it inside in another room. But um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna walk around the Baylor and show you a few things that Mike pointed out to me that were different on the Fusion 4 um, compared to the, the Fusion 3 and so on and so forth. Um, we'll turn around the camera. Just a couple of things he did point out, and he says it there in the video, as a wider pickup, uh, five times. He said you have the extra roller, the, the feeder to get it in. Um, of course, they're all on a thousand, a thousand shaft now. Um, that's not, I'll show you that over here. Just a couple of simple things, very, very simple things. I know it myself. Um, the grease cartridge for greasing the, the baler. Um, two separate pumps now. One pump is for the the oil, one pump for the grease cartridge. Um, simple thing, I've done it myself. When you're baling, you change the, the grease cartridge, where are you gonna put it? Simple, small little dustbin. Very, very easy to start out. Um, place for the knives here. Um, the, they designed this on purpose in such a way that your, your chain lube oil drum will actually fit in here. And in the new balers now, there's enough uh, there's enough capacity in that that will um, hold enough chain loop for two days. And um, we come back along and they have fitted lights. You can't see the lights, they have fitted lights and they've fitted extra sensors and everything else. And of course here we have the, the small conventional bailer. Same thing again, maybe for the man, maybe on very, very high ground. Maybe, just, maybe for the man that just bales hay, just bales straw. And if you look into the bailer here, you can see all the rollers. And you can see the knives below for chopping. Fantastic. Of course, McHale's are, without doubt, the, the leader in the, the manufacturing of fur balers and all this. And, of course, they just don't do balers. They do a lot of other stuff. But, Michael, tell me here, then, look, you, you can actually control... We'll start down here. You can control your, your wrapper, completely control your wrapper from here. And I actually said to him, I said... Um, one time I was controlling the, a, a wrapper from outside about a number of years ago and I got a belt in the head. I'm used to getting belts in the head from controlling the wrapper. You know, it came around and it hit me. But now they have a sensor fitted up there. You can't really see it. You might be able to see it there. That's it. And the wrapper will not actually work until this door is closed, and which I think is a, an absolutely fantastic idea. And here you have your... Your wrapper again, completely new lights fitted, the whole lot. Um, you have your, your plastics holders here. They all hinge out in individually or separately or together or whatever. And you know, this thing, I thought this was an absolutely fantastic invention. He showed me this kind of off camera again. I probably won't be able to do it. Um, pull, hang on now, we might be able to do it. Hang on now. Okay, we have it. Pull this down, and it can actually come down again. Just like that. And I've done it myself, uh, trying to load net, and trying to load plastic onto the baler. And when you're outside in the field, it can be just a nightmare of a, an operation. So, put your roll of net, or your roll of plastic standing here. Pull it up. Slide your roller net straight in, and there's a holder there and all for it. And then just pull this button, and up she goes. Very, very neatly tucked away, absolutely perfect. And like that, again, she got the wider pickup. And the same, same, do you know, it's, it's just, they're a fantastic, I couldn't praise Mikhail Baylor's, I love them. And like, look, Fusion 4, that's it. That is the Fusion 4 she has. Like that, there's a good bit of extra. She has the, the different lights, um, the rollers, the wrappers, the whole lot. Everything is 
Brilliant. And like you can hear Mike here in the interview, we'll, I'll just play the interview there and we'll get a few shots of the, the baler in the yard and we'll put up the drone and we'll overlay that on top of the, on top of the baler, on top of the thing, top of the interview. But like, Mikhail is just a, it's a fantastic com company. I think he said they're exporting over to, I think he said it was 52 countries. So look, this, here's your baler. Um, this is the chamber. It's more or less the same as this one. There isn't a whole pile of a difference in, in, in the single pack, we call it, to the, to the combi, to the, to the one, I suppose, with the wrapper, to the fusion, whatever you want to call it. But this is where the bale, the bale is made. The bale comes back then up in these rollers. And on this arc around here, you can see it, there's plastic. And the plastic goes on there, and it goes on down over here. And you can see it right along them. And um, she wraps your bale, and you can, the, full, the whole thing is controlled from inside in the tractor. It's all controlled through Isobus. There's a, a blue power Ford here. My young fella is actually in New Holland. My young fella is absolutely smitten in love with blue powers. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what the, the difference is. Some fella can tell me there. You can leave it in the comments. Tell me what the difference is on, on the... And the blue power, and what's the difference between blue power and, and um, a standard T7270? Um, but of course, look, that's Michael. We can give a, a look inside in this if we can get in. You know, Mike was telling me as well, off camera, off interview, that um, everything now, everything on the, on the, of course, there's no key, there is a key, everything is controlled. There's, there's power here, look, there is. Absolutely everything is controlled on this. Um, because I know it myself from working the McHale baler. See, look, you have your baler there. Look, you, you can pick, I presume you pick what baler you, you have. I'm not exactly too sure. And, um, but everything is, is done from there. And cameras, the whole lot, absolutely everything is controlled from here. And they've made it just so much easier, does it? There's cameras behind, there's cameras watching the baler, cameras watching the feed, cameras watching absolutely everything. It's just, it's, I couldn't praise it enough. I've used a couple of different balers, but I would have definitely say the, the McHale um, Fusion, and whatever about the Fusion 4 is definitely, absolutely 110% the way to go. So, that's kind of it, guys. Here's Mike and the interview and what I'll do is while it was inside in the back room and it was just it was a bit noisy out here and it was just it was just too noisy really and truthfully. Actually before we do it here you can see a, a better view of the knives straight through there. You can see the knives coming around. And you can store all the knives very easy to take them out, very easy to replace them, very to do the whole lot. And um, yeah. And of course thanks again to Buckley's. Um I wouldn't be here only for Henry and Anus and the boys here, you know, they put up a fantastic, absolutely fantastic show last night. There was brochures, there was, there was everything for everyone. And just, there's a shot of brochures here. I'll move the drone. That's the wrapper, if we turn it the right way. Um, absolutely fantastic. And, of course, they do the, the offset wrapper. And we have the balers, and, of course, they do the, the soft hands. Another wrapper, of course, they do the McHale rake. The balers again, we're going to carry home a few of them because I have a, a fantastic, of course, we have the moors. Um, I have a fantastic um, collection of, of brochures. So that's it, of course. Thanks again here to Henry and to the lads here at Buckley's in Listowel. And I'm going to play the interview. Um, the interview is about 10 minutes long, Mike, and we overlay a bit of drone footage and a bit of walking around footage and everything else and um, there we go. Thank you. Mike, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, thanks. Yourself? Not, uh, not so bad, thank Good. you. We have a fantastic setup here this evening. Yeah, we put on a nice display here at Buckley's. Um, Buckley's will be a good dealer of ours here covering the south west region really. Yeah. Um, and we do a few of these events through the country this time of year just to promote the product with our Baylor customers. Um, it's probably seen as a bit of an out of season where the customers yeah. can come in and we can look at the new machines, go through them in detail, talk about the season gone yeah. by, 
and, and it gives the opportunity for the for the dealers to to price the customers and maybe do some out of season, season deals. So. Yeah, yeah, and I suppose everyone like that. Don't you said everyone was kind of quiet this time of the year. Yeah, it works well. Yeah, they're they're bathing season finished. They're you know everything gathered up, and and hopefully they can do a bit of business to buy their new equipment for the following season. Yeah, it works well in the sense that it gives us an idea of what to build, the spec they want. It gives the dealer an indication what they've come back in second hand because mm-hmm. they're all high value items now and it gives them a chance to get them in, ready, cleaned, ready for the next customer. So yeah, yeah. It but I suppose, uh, McHale itself, yes. can you tell me a small bit of history? Well, because it's a serious company now. Like, it's, it's, it's built up a lot over the years, yeah. yeah. Started off um, as, a, as a farm machine and retail business back in yeah. the early 80s um, yeah. and, and then got into manufacturing from the block cutter to the shear grabs. Mm-hmm. Um, building bale wrappers late 80s into early 90s. Yeah. Bale wrapper probably would be our our early products which we started exporting and, yeah. and now you know to 55 56 different countries worldwide 50 my god yeah a massive so reach out it there. is it is yeah, yeah. But with good product it will it will happen you yeah, know that yeah. that is the long and the short of it so um and then in um the early 2002 we built the first fusion mm-hmm. and uh it went from there so yeah. the fusion one Continued up to about 2008, 2009, we introduced the Fusion 2. That worked away to 2013, when we had the Fusion 3. Mm-hmm. And then at the planning temperature of this year, like we're showing here tonight, yeah. we brought in the Fusion 4. So steady progression all the time. Yeah. Product is getting continuously better. And you know our customers are staying loyal to us as well. And, and even here tonight now, we've actually brought on new customers from, from other products, which, which is fantastic to see. Yeah. So. And we say the Fusion 4, now we all know what the Fusion 3 is, but the Fusion 4, is there much of a difference? Or? There, there, there is uh, quite a bit, quite a yeah. bit. Starting from the front of the machine, your, your pickup is, is quite a bit different. We've seen uh, camless now is, is a big trend. People right. are going over to camless pickups. You've got six rows of tines yes. versus five on the traditional. Okay. Um, it, it's a better pickup on the baler. It's quicker. You've got you've got uh, better intake. Okay. Um, we've a lot of work done around the augers on the baler, the rotor. Um, traditionally, people would be on ten and twenty foot. Now it's going more towards thirty foot of grass, yeah. so bigger volumes. Yeah. You've got the horsepower have nearly doubled in the last four yes. or five years. So the whole load and, and the throughput of the machine is important. Um, we're, we're mainly selling, we said, a Fusion Baylor now on a thousand speed gearboxes. Right. Again, it's, it's a better better flow. Yeah. You, you've, you've got more speed, less torque, so it's a yes. kinder feed on the machine. Yes. Um, and even down to the control in the cab, it's Isobus. Oh, yeah. So yeah. everything is gradually going over to Isobus. Yeah. We're going completely over to Isobus on, on the Fusion 3 buses. Yeah. Um, better system in that you've got more options in the cab the driver physically can adjust everything now from the cab yeah. and control everything from the cab yeah and you've got the option of plugging it directly into the tractor terminal if it's size of bus compatible so brilliant, brilliant. Um, a new chapter again um, and of course when you're dealing with someone like buckley's here didn't you says buckley's have all the parts correct Correct. They have a great service team. A good example of a, of, of, of a, of a McHale dealer, I would say. Um, yeah, very happy all the way through. Number one, they, they have the parts, as you say. They stock, stock a serious amount of spare parts. Yeah. The lads are very McHale trained, very yeah. McHale thorough. And, and then you have the sales team as well. Um, so a fantastic example yeah. of a dealer yeah, for McHale yeah, yeah, as a company. Yeah. And I suppose even for McHale, you had an awful fire there going back a couple of years ago. Yeah. Have you recovered or did it stunt your growth or what did it do? Or to, to be honest with you, no. I mean, we're, yeah. we, were, we were unlucky, but lucky it could be worse. Yes. Um, that happened in t- 2015, right at the beginning of the season, around yeah. the June time. Um, it, it damaged building more than anything else, if you know what yes. I mean. But fortunately, no one was hurt. And, okay. and uh, within you know a couple of weeks, we were more or less back in action at some Brilliant. level. So Brilliant. there was there a was fast recovery. We maybe hurt a little bit for that particular season, but but since that, no, it, it was uh, you know it's all gone very very well. And Brilliant. touch wood, we've had no incident like that since. So. That. And tell me if I can ask you, then, you know, the debater here we're looking at this evening, like that's a serious weapon. And if someone now wanted to order one of them off for Buckley's here this evening, what are you talking lead in time or? Well, well again, that's part of these open evenings for McHale in that you get your business done earlier, you get the orders into the factory earlier, you get yes. your deliveries when you need them. Okay. You know, the, the, the bigger items are, are the out of season is done more now. Right. Maybe yes. your smaller items like your mowers, your tethers and all that type of stuff can be done in the later season after Christmas or whatever. Yeah. But 
uh, we would be delivering machines November, December, January, February for machines that are being ordered here this evening. Um, so, so it brings all the business ahead. The dealer get the second hand machine in, get it serviced, checked over, and ready for resale again. And, so, and because you're not flat out, up the walls, and leaving fellas down next May. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we're fortunate we can run the factory pretty much flat out all year round now. So, in a, in, a, in a seasonal world atmosphere, a lot of our production now this time of year will go New Zealand, Australia. Oh, and, right. and then, oh yeah, okay, so they're on a different clock, yeah, correct. I forgot about that. Correct, yeah. so, so it means you've, you haven't got the peaks and lows, you can keep a consistency yes. in it, Yeah. Um, and then we'll switch over to building for Ireland, the UK and into Europe. So, yeah. But even of course, McHale and, uh, and they're an absolutely fantastic, of course. Second hand trade as well, then, like, yeah, the, the, the products all demand a, a fantastic resale value. Yeah. Um, we've been fortunate, look at from our end, we put the, com the stuff into them, we buy the best of components, we build the machine yeah. to the best of our ability. Um, they've always demanded a decent resale value, yeah. Um, you know, just firing a shot at it, you look at a machine 10 years old, it's still got half of its traditional value, yes. which is brilliant really for, yeah. for, for grassland machinery yeah. and, it, and that's all, that's in a worldwide market yes, you know so correct. it gives people confidence to buy the machine it gives people confidence to buy the second hand machine yeah. and it rolls on from there so yeah, 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 um, yeah. and you know there was a man there earlier on today he has a fusion two there with over a hundred thousand bales yeah. and, and he said it goes out every year and it works again and he's quite happy with it so it's just an example of what the machines yes. can do you know so and i guess well the fusion one now and even the fusion two that's becoming the kind of a farmer's machine now absolutely or, or a second or third machine for yeah. a, for, for a contractor um, yeah. but yeah the few the fusion one for example we the fusion ones there still demanding you know quite good examples twenty thousand euros that sort of mark which yeah. is you know quite quite a decent price a decent for what price, they are like, yeah. you know but if, if you've got a very good example with a low bail count it, yeah. it'll still make which you know at this stage yeah well, i suppose the big thing is whether it's a fusion one or a fusion four just yeah. mind it correct correct yeah well the machines are pretty good they're they're yeah. auto greasing auto oiling yeah. if they get any fairness at all or any bit of looking after they will last you know yeah, they're um, we we have all the parts there in, in mayo the dealers to be fair keep all the yeah. parts around the country so yeah. it's not a situation that you can't repair or fix them the, yes. the parts are all available you know they're off the shelf so and we say worst case scenario okay if something goes in the future for yes the 17th of may 2023 yes and buckley's don't have it have you a system to get it out correct correct well i was only talking to the guys about that today i mean th these lads would be a good example as dealer goes for parts but i was saying to a customer today from right from the south of Kerry, came in conversation mm -hmm. he said if if i broke down this evening at six o'clock what can i do if buckley's didn't have the part he said they can ring me and yeah. it says, we'll have the part. So yeah. I said, between yeah. us, you'll be going tomorrow morning. Yeah. And he said, well, that's all the assurance I need. Yeah. But, but that is how we operate anyway. So yeah, is, yeah, yeah, we will have the parts. There is no excuse. And we understand how it works at that yeah. small window. It's it, a, yeah, it has to happen. Three or you know. four weeks. Yeah. And it has to, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. I, I won't be stood here listening to a man that told me he lost a day's bailing because yeah. he couldn't get the part. Yeah. It's, it's not how it works. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So. No, that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Mike. Thanks very much. And like I said, the bailer here, it's a fantastic. And like that, it's absolutely brilliant to see an Irish Mayo company absolutely doing so well. And what do you say, 55, 56 countries? Yeah, that, that's, that's, our, that's our market. But look, at, at the same time, 90% of what we make, we export. But yeah. the Irish market is very, very important to us, as is the Irish customer. Yeah. And without these lads that are here today, we wouldn't be here either. So yeah. we need the continued business. We need the continuous, you know, support yeah. from our customers. And that's what, what to grow our business as well. So. Brilliant. Fair play to you. And thanks for your time. You're more than welcome. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Thank you. All right. No. Period. Well, great.